Okay, so this is a four substation, four directional minecart station using powered rails. Um, essentially, each one of these stations can get a cart to any of the other stations, including itself. Um, they all, red is north, green is east, orange wool, which looks yellow in this pack for whatever reason, is west, and white is south. And each one of these towers is marked by one of those cardinal directions. So let me show you how it works. Basically, uh, I, when you hit any one of these buttons, this powered rail inside there turns on, and you get shot into the loop. And all these are set so that if you put a card in just as is, it'll just keep circulating clockwise. So let me stop that. Okay. Oops. So the whole idea is if you leave from let's say this red station um, it'll shoot you into the loop going clockwise and then it will wait until you pass this curve track so when you get here and then it'll switch over whatever um, specific track piece needs to be changed to route you to the correct destination so I'll show you how that works and my idea behind this is um, I can maybe make a puzzle out of it but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So you drop in like this. These are your four directions. Let's go over here. Clockwise around the loop, and then there's no destination besides just getting back in there. So I'll show you what it looks like like this. Let me do this one. All right, so you see it hasn't turned yet. Now it just turned over because that's where it's going to go. And then it goes back. So I had to time it so that it could, number one, get from there all the way past the turn and number two so that it would stay uh, flipped the other direction until at least the, the furthest distance possible which in all cases is just the backwards or back where you started direction so let me show you how it works each of these four substations has four um, two by two shafts going down um, and everything is color coded by the level that it's going to. So there's four levels. There's red, green, white, and orange, or yellow. And so let's just go, let's we'll start at red, I guess. All right, so it just happens to turn out, where is, there we go, that you need three repeaters set on f delay four and um, that's the first delay you need and then to keep the track switched you need nine of them and this is just a simple pulse generator I think is what it is uh, it's on the Minecraft Redstone wiki so the best way to show you how this is done is to go to the bottom you can see all these floors are the same just configured slightly differently because the uh, the less staircases you have coming down the easier it is to make them in more space so I just <coughs> did it like that because it was quicker. So this is one of the inputs. Um, as you can see, each floor has four inputs, one from each station. Um, so I'll show you how this works. This goes all the way up and powers a torch which lies underneath that track station. So let me turn this on. As soon as the power gets through these three first three delays then this output will turn on and it will stay on until it passes all these delays so that's how it's gonna work let me show you you should be able to see now it's on and it's gonna wait for these delays to turn off there you go um, so that's about it I used um, the repeaters going into blocks as better than wire because if you put just a wire here that that wouldn't work so that's a nice little trick um, that's pretty much it let me go up and do another lap it has no um, overflow detection I'm not sure how I'd do that yet uh, okay Oops. Oh, there it is.